Hello beautiful gamers and welcome back to our little zoo. Admittedly, I haven't played in some time. <laughs> Since you guys were last here, I have done a little bit of building in our lemur habitat. I just want to give you a little tour of what I have done since you were last here and then we're going to continue building and finish <laughs> the glass house finally. So I've added in uh, a new path. We're using a, a tiled stone path. I kept putting in different types of path because I couldn't decide what looked jungly and I think I'm settled on this. We've got signage here for the three species of lemur that we have in this habitat. We've got a photo point here with the hut that's been moved now into this uh, little pond. So I've put in loads of foliage, I've put rocks and things in and plants all along this little stream that's feeding this pond here. I've put in this small bridge so that the lemurs can get up onto the platform there. I filled in all of this sort of dead space that we're not going to use to build anything really substantial. I've just filled it all in with foliage. As always, nothing is clipping. So I think last time we were here, I had just finished building this bridge, but I hadn't decorated it at all. So now I have, I've stuck some vines on it. I've put a, a vine here that is climbable, running up to these tree platforms so that the lemurs can run up onto the roof if they wanted to. So then this is the view from standing on this bridge. It looks pretty cool. And then I filled all of this in here with foliage so that you can't really see across, which was how I wanted this habitat to be, was that you feel like you're walking through the jungle and you're, you know, so dense and you're just kind of exploring and discovering things like little hidden gems. I didn't want you to be able to walk through and just see everything all open straight away. I wanted you to feel like you could sort of discover things. So I've made the, the foliage really, really thick, but so you can get kind of like glimpses of things through and you're like oh what's that and then you go over and kind of check it out so i've added in a, a forage box here and i've built the temple pieces all the way around it the inspiration being like a like a roman bath what i was thinking is that maybe back when people were living in this temple there was maybe a, a, a like um a natural spring or something here and they had kind of enclosed it so that people could bathe here but now it's you know thousands of years later and it's all dried up now it's all just full of dirt now the lemurs forage for food in there i've continued the foliage through along the stream here and then this second bridge i've built as well so this is uh, a bridge on a curve this was a real challenge and honestly i do regret not recording the progress this bit here is a bit broken and i'm not sure why i've just loaded the game in for the first time in literally months so i'm not sure what's gone on here i did move some of the paths around so i think maybe that's what it is so i'm this is one of the first things i'm going to do is i'm going to fix this but it only looks broken from the inside from the outside it looks totally fine so i think that's going to be okay that's it from the other side so we've still got our fallen tree because I do remember I put that in last time you guys were here but that's all I had done so now there's all this foliage here that's all built in with some kind of broken blocks temple pieces I just wanted to to make it look like maybe some things have like fallen over I also wanted to kind of not necessarily hide this piece here on the side of our exhibit I, I didn't want to hide it necessarily but I just wanted to kind of make it one of those things again like a discovery like you would only really spot this it doesn't draw the eye you know you would only kind of spot it if you were deliberately looking around here's uh the entrance from the flamingis so this is your view when you first walk in through this gate. Now this is my humble beginnings of the temple that I wanted to build, like the main temple. I wanted this to be leveled 
where people could walk over the top and through the middle and on the ground floor and sort of underneath. But as I started building and putting in the temple pieces, I realized that there isn't really enough space for all of that. So it's still very much obviously a work in progress and hopefully we're going to finish it today. What I've done is kind of made this a bit more of an open space. So there is a path that runs underneath these pieces. I've just placed these blocks on top to make it look like it's a large open space, but the people are actually walking through so she's sort of sunk in <laughs> a little bit because uh, I had to raise these obviously to cover the path. So sneaky, sneaky move there. The, there is actually a path underneath this slot. And then we've got some education boards again here, which I've sunk into to, uh, the, the temple piece pieces for the wall. This spot here is unfinished. So the stream obviously runs under this bridge, under that fallen tree there. I've used these uh, aquatic faux rocks and colored them so they look a bit like they've got algae on them, you know, like they've been there for quite a while and they're, they're established. And then over here, we have our butterfly house. So just whilst I was building, I've put the glass walls back up, but once we've finished, I'm going to take them away so it looks like it's just this open space. I want to kind of hide these structures because I think they're really ugly. So yeah, this is everything that I have done so far. Apologies for not, you know, including you guys in my, my building. The reason I didn't is because the previous video, I had it in my head that we were just going to get it all done in one go. And when we didn't, I thought this is either going to be lots more sessions than I realized it was going to be initially. And it's just going to be lo lots and lots of videos just all on the same thing. You guys are going to get bored. I would rather just sit and do a project in like two or three sittings and then it's done. But it turns out the level of detail that I'm trying to give this build, it's actually taking me a lot longer than, than I thought that it would. So sorry for continuing without you, but you know, hopefully we'll get the rest of this done. I really want to get the glass house finished i have so many other project ideas for other areas in the park so i kind of want to crack on with that now and just get this finished so that's what we're going to do today hopefully <laughs> so yeah let's get building mm -hmm. 